identical twin sister. What? My sister works out and I don't, but we look the same. <laughs> my twin sister is a musician and I'm a comedian, so my parents didn't pray hard enough. <laughs> We are very different though. Uh, she's the kind of person who will post a selfie in her workout gear, you know, with an earnest quote, like, when for a morning run, hashtag blessed. <laughs> like, she's happy. <laughs> but I'm the opposite of that, you know, I'm smart, so. <laughs> <laughs> I am queer, anybody else in here? <laughs> the first person I came out to was my college boyfriend. <laughs> and he said that answers a lot of questions for me. <laughs> but a few months after that, I realized I'm actually bisexual. <laughs> but I didn't tell him that. Because <laughs> I didn't want to have to be like, uh, Zach, it was you. <laughs> Don't feel too bad for him. Uh, he had Chinese characters tattooed on the back of his calves. That said, party. <laughs> He was not Chinese. He was white, but you guys knew that. <laughs> the character said, Ruh, no. It was like one character on each calf. And I speak Chinese. Some of you speak Chinese clearly, and you'll know it does not mean party. It translates on Google Translate to hustle bustle. <laughs> a party, like it's very busy, a lot of commotion, you know? But you could also use it to describe something visually busy, like a painting, or calves, you know, like his calves. <laughs> he got that tattoo while he was studying Chinese in China. That is very brave. <laughs> to get a tattoo of a language you're not even good at yet? <laughs> That'd be like if I got an SAT word tattooed on my arm in high school. <laughs> Just the word egregious. <laughs> Technically, it would be correct. Uh. He gave me on our second day a bonsai plant because he said it reminded him of me. <laughs> so I gave him something from his culture, a participation trophy. <laughs> make it, you know, very long, but if we had gotten married, uh, I do have a, a couple anniversary gifts I want to tell you guys in case you're ever in this situation, okay? Feel free to use them. First anniversary, a monster truck. <laughs> you know, our five-year uh, Billabong flip-flop that's also a bottle opener. <laughs> and then, you know, our 50th, I would give him that same bonsai plant, but I would just take credit for it. <laughs> Uh, I love my mom because I go to therapy. <laughs> my parents are from Taiwan. Um, therapy wasn't, like they didn't really talk about mental health growing up. I didn't start going to therapy until I moved to New York uh, in my 20s. And when I told my mom, she got very upset. She was like, why can't you just talk to me? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, that's what I'm going to therapy to figure that out. <laughs> My dad is a born-again Christian, which means he loves looking for symbols in the universe, like signs from the universe. Uh, for example, if we're at a wedding, he'll turn to me and be like, Teresa, the bride is 27, the groom is 30. 27 plus 30 is 57. 5 plus 7 is 12. There are 12 apostles of Jesus. <laughs> you should go to grad school. <laughs> quarantine, I actually was able to solve my childhood trauma. And I was born with a, a very rare heart disease, congenital heart disease. You guys know what that is, right? Congenital heart disease. It's when you're born with your heart in your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Only 0.01% of babies had the heart disease. I had uh, 1 in 8,000. So I had the Harvard of heart disease. Just because it's hard to get doesn't mean it's worth getting, okay? I should know, all right? I used to go after a lot of unavailable people in my 20s. Uh, one time I did catch one of these, okay? You know, the kind of people that don't want to be caught, they don't want to be dated. Caught one, 
Turns out he was just the ghost of my mommy issue, so not worth it. Um, but I saw my childhood trauma because I was getting so many panic attacks during quarantine. Like, early days, I had panic attacks that lasted six hours. Like, I had gone through all of Janae Aiko's music library, <laughs> moved on to Andrew and Lloyd Webber, you know? <laughs> like, it's a problem when you're listening to Evita like an Olivia Rodrigo album. <laughs> Like, I gotta figure this out. Uh, so I, w I went to trauma therapy and I figured out that it connected to my heart surgery. So one thing that happened when I got panic attacks was I would gag and choke, like just on nothing. But it was just like a physical response. And my therapist was like, you should ask your mom if anything happened when you were a child, like a baby that maybe was traumatic, maybe almost died, whatever. So I did, and my mom was like, well, you know, for the first nine months of your life before you got the surgery, you would gag and choke every time you tried to suck a dick. Um, no, she said every time you tried to drink milk. Every time for nine months. And then I got the surgery and everything was fine. So it was mind blowing. Like it, it really just opened up a whole new world. I was able to do a lot of healing. But it was very wild to realize that there was a cure for my depression this whole time. It was just being dead. I was like, oh. I was born with a defective heart. Like, it was fatal condition. I was supposed to die and the doctor fixed it and then was like, that's the best you get, you know? Like, you should be so lucky. It does explain a lot though. I feel like it explains why I've never been able to take rejection. Like, I just never understood. I could never take a hint. Like, in my 20s, these are all true things that have happened, okay? I told a guy I love you and he said that's nice to hear. <laughs> I did a guy for a year and a half who refused to call me his girlfriend, but he would call me his waffle. <laughs> like, and one time on a first date, I told a girl, I think you're pretty, and she said, you make me think, so... <laughs> Claire? <laughs> I, I can't wait for the singularity. Like, I save all my old electronics. <laughs> I, I'm excited. Like, I keep all my old electronics, all my phones. You know, I just want to be able to start a family with the singularity. 